I think it's awesome when kids learn things and understand things they didn't know of before, you know, when they leave the door smarter than when they came in. I mean, that's kind of what keeps you going. I loved science because I had um, high school teachers that were great teachers um, in science. And so that's what made me pursue uh, a biology degree. I like to keep the class a comfortable place where kids want to be. I like to tell ridiculous jokes and kids roll their eyes, but at the end of the year, they always tell me, you know, keep telling the dad jokes. You know, I, I, I learned pretty early on in my career that you, you don't, I think strict strictness and like raising your voice in a classroom to a group of adolescents, that doesn't work. Just trying to be kind, um, but yet also have high expectations. There was just something that kept me here. And I think, I think what kept me here was just the awesome people I work with. Um, everybody in the science department works very hard. I think we all here work very hard. And I think by and large, we help each other a lot. Well, I have three kids myself. So going to their activities and, you know, caring for them and being dad is, you know, really number one in life. When I have the time for it, which, you know, I try to make time once a week, we, I, I play in a rock band, a local rock band. I sing and I play the guitar um, and we just have a good time. There's a long-term payoff too. When you teach kids that graduated 10, 12 years ago, and then they're sending you emails of, you know, putting their white coats on um, when they've graduated or finished their nursing program or their doctor of physical therapy program or, you know, being a physician right after they take their Hippocratic Oath, you know, like that's, that's the kind of thing that keeps you going. I take this work very seriously um, and I work very hard to essentially make the world a better place.